Howdy folks, Meandering Mike here in the Man Cave of Manus. We are playing the Battle of Wagram. This is the Historical Game Company version. I just recently played the uh, SPI version from the Napoleon at War Quad. And I'd given this a try. I had started playing it. And I'd gotten through, I can't remember, three, four, five turns. And then I realized I was... Uh, not doing any of my defensive fire phases. I had completely forgotten those, so I stopped that. So now that I've completed the SP Vagram game, now I want to play this, and so I can compare and contrast. Now, uh, some of the things that's a little different here is the map's much smaller, the play area, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the units are just five hexes away. <laughs> You know, typical line infantry moves three, uh, artillery moves three, cavalry moves uh, five or four. Um, infantry have a range of two, artillery have a range of four. So it, it's <laughs> it's going to play a lot different I, uh, than than the other one. I'm 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 not sure if this particular system. I love this system. I've really enjoyed the uh, American Civil War, the games on the Western Frontier and stuff. It really works well. But I'm not sure this is good for a Napoleonic battle at this scale. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, one of the things I'm going to try here, so I've made this little thing to try to remind myself to do defensive fire each turn, since that was the, the problem. Now, victory conditions... Uh, the Austrians win if they can take uh, Essling or Gross Enzerdorf. The French win if they can take both hexes of Wagram and get two units up on the heights. Now here in this game they call it the Wagram Plateau. It's technically the, the Rossbach Heights, but so the, the major conditions are somewhat similar, except not. So only geographic things count, all right? So the Austrians, to win, must take these two towns. The French must focus on Wagram and get two units on the heights. Um, so so it's a little more constricted compared to the, the, the SPI uh, version. So... It'll be interesting to see that play that. Now, the game lasts up to 24 turns. And if the game ends at turn 24 and neither side have reached their specific objectives, it will be a tie. All right. So I am going to do like I normally do the, the moves. Um, then maybe, you know, show the attacks and... Uh, I always say, oh, I probably won't show every turn and usually end up doing it anyway. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Sometimes I'm like, this, this they're so close and the, the fighting's going to start so quickly here. Um, but, but, but one thing to remember is that this is the card assisted game where each side draws a card and it tells how many units you can move on your turn and how many units you can attack with. So that's one thing that's a much more limited is that you're not going to be attacking with everything every turn. Again, for the scale of this game, I'm not sure that makes sense. <laughs> but again, we'll see how it works out. All right, so back soon. All right, the French got this card, which was wasted, because <laughs> no artillery in range. Remember, with this game system, you can move and attack adjacent, but you can only shoot range if you haven't already moved this turn. He only moved four units. Uh, five you can attack with. Well, he moved up. Uh, occupy this town, this town. This guy was here. This guy was here. All right. So four French units moved up. Uh, they couldn't do any attacking in the defensive fire phase. I remembered defensive fire. Uh, these artillery within range, this one shot in the very first time hit him. Uh, got a disorganization result and retreated the guy back, uh, disordered. Like I was <laughs> disrupted. 
<laughs> disorganized, no, disordered. Um, so that was the not so exciting first turn for the French. It is now the Austrians' turn. And I just drew this card, Confusion of the Ranks. No Austrians can move, only two can shoot. <laughs> uh, uh, so there's nothing in range because the one guy that was within range retreated. Uh, so, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of the first turn. <laughs> We're advancing the turn marker to turn two. I'll be back. All right, so for the French part of the second turn, I drew this card. Uh, reds, reeds, reds, bar Bavarians. Uh, nothing happens the first time this card's drawn. The second time, the French will actually get the Bavarian reinforcement. So they had four and four movement. Uh, they decided to move here on the left flank. Move some dragoons up to occupy this town. They're actually within range to shoot next turn. Two line infantry moved up archway. So they're not going to get to shoot, but defensive fire. All right. So he is within range. He's within range. Nobody else is within range. All right. So if he succeeds, yeah, so that well, he's up on a hill, so nothing blocks line of sight anyway. Uh, so this guy might as well shoot first. Now, this does add one to defense, so that's a net seven. So that's adding two, actually. <laughs> there. Making them so they're all faced towards you. Now, you can't really see that. If I get a little closer. If I zoom in, you can see that action better. Let's do that since we're concentrating on this flank. So, six defense, adding one, seven, two attack. Roll to two, adding two, four, this. Uh, this guy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and... Well, you can shoot at someone in the open. Uh, better chance of actually hitting them. Now, like this guy doesn't have any defense. Adding two, eight. If you're two greater, you can kill. What artillery shooting alone cannot kill. The best they can do is disorder. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and you know, this guy instead of like me because he might try to push up and uh, take uh, a glass. Uh, so... Shooting here, adding two, rolls a six. It's just enough to hit. So this guy is disordered and retreats to. Okay, that was defensive fire. No, no French offensive fire that turn. So then we're gonna zoom back out. And we are switching to the Austrian turn. So I'm actually going to talk through the Austrian turns. They drew this Archduke John. First time played, no reinforcements. Uh, the second time, there's a two-thirds chance that they show up. Um, so four Austrians to move, five can fire. Now, what I'm going to do... Okay, and one thing I need to remember, that at the end of your turn, you can uh, rally guys that are uh, disordered... And so from defensive fire, this guy was, you know, disordered in their turn. So at the end of the turn, they will actually rally. So they did get pushed back. Um, the Austrians are going to be bold, try to sortie forth and, you know, like attack this artillery that's now exposed. And so my plan is to use these dragoons and this grenadier. This can come down through the road. One, two, three. This guy here goes. One, two, three, four. You can actually move five. So they'll be able to combine, hoping to get an outright kill on that. Um, this guy's going to move up to occupy now. There's no protection here on this slope from this town, but from this side, he is uphill from any attack from this way. 
can hit here. So we got what four moves. We can move one more guy. We're gonna want to occupy this. So they're gonna do your unit. All right. So that's theirs now. Defensive fire. <laughs> Before the great plan, uh, three shots. Now, this guy cannot shoot here. Since you're in his zone of control, you can only shoot what you're next to. So this guy can shoot here. These guy can shoot at one or the other, right? Uh, these artillery one, two, three, four, are too far away. So for the three shots, we can do this one, this one, and one of these. Uh, so let's start here. <laughs> They're trying to save this guy's bacon so he can shoot two away. So he's adding two against a six. So he needs a four or greater. He rolled a three and missed. All right. Uh, this guy will go ahead and shoot. He'll, he'll, you know, he, he could shoot at this guy, but he's a seven. He's going to try to shoot the guy, trying to reduce some odds of something happening. All right. He rolled a one and missed. All right. Uh, so here, this Dragoons will shoot, since it's on the flank that doesn't have the protection. Adding two. One. Boy, they, <laughs> their defensive fire sucketh. All right, so now the Austrians get to actually do their attacks. We will start with this one here. The Grenadier assaulting with the uh, support of the Dragoons. So two plus one, the, the Combined attack, the second guy, regardless of their strength, only adds one. So they're adding three against a five. So some decent chance to actually get an outright kill. They rolled a four. Adding three is seven, which is exactly enough to kill it outright. First blood that <laughs> weakened our, or the, not isolated artillery, his, his supporting. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was behind there. It was, uh, uh, but yep, yeah, so. The Austrians uh, are taking some initiative. They're hoping that on the flank here, away from the bulk of Napoleon's army, that they can do some stuff there. Uh, and they have nothing at the end of their turn to... Uh... Oh, no, we're not done. We're not done. <laughs> they have up to five attacks. And so this guy and this artillery, they're in range. Okay, so mm, they could elect to combine arms on this. Or he could shoot here by himself, and then he could shoot separately. Uh, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Seven, that would be three. <laughs> so six, they still could kill it outright. Uh, yeah, this Dragoon is kind of a nice unit. It's a uh, five-speed, six-defense cavalry. It has two range, so they're, they'll, they'll team up on this guy here, so they're adding three against a seven because of the defense there. And they rolled a four, which becomes the seven, which causes retreat, but no loss. All right. Well, he'll stay on the road. All right. Um, now this guy cannot advance to here. You can only advance into the space if you were not in a zone of control. Um, so the fact that this guy was here leaving a zone on he couldn't advance whereas if this guy had been by himself after this guy retreating there'd be no zone on him and he could advance alrighty uh, so no one else is in range so that was the Austrian turn 2 alright French turn 3 they do this card the guard engages well no not quite the guard starts over here and it can't reach anything. If it would, it would be able to attack twice and add plus one on the attacks. But so so they're they're moving up, getting to this place here. So the the line unit that was in here moved up. Uh, wait a minute. No, there's another unit that was going to move. One, two, four. There was five. This this guy here was going to move over to there. All right. I did. I did. It was the first guy's gonna move, but I didn't actually move him. I should have moved him. Um, so, uh, one, two, th three, four, five. That's the guys that moved. Okay. Uh, this guy here uh, didn't rally at the election because he was 
disordered and or treated during the Austrian turn. So he will uh, rally at the end of the French turn. So that's why he's still uh, disordered there. All right, so offensive fire. All right. Mm -hmm. Three units, probably the guys that are all engaged. Now, you can change, like, you know, this guy could maybe shoot here. And if he succeeds, this guy might shoot here and he might shoot here. But say if he shoots here and fails, maybe this guy will shoot here. Um, so we'll start with the Grenadiers shooting against this line unit. Rolls a six, eight, enough to kill. The Austrians are doing quite well. Uh, this guy will shoot here. Five, or three, plus two, five misses. And, um, yeah, this guy will sh attack down the hill. No no bonus or penalty shooting your attack a slope. Just, it's just normal. So adding two against a six, he misses. Okay, so that was a defensive fire. Now the French can sh attack with up to five units. Uh, <laughs> but not that guy. Okay, this guy has moved, so he cannot shoot at range. This guy can. So one, two, three, four. Mm, nothing else is other than range. So... Well, uh, they want to try to team up, give, give the best chance to shooting three total. Uh, that means on a five or a six that they can get an auto kill. Yeah, they'll do that. So combined attack here, roll a three, got a net six, which is enough to retreat him, but not enough all right uh can advance uh they'll team up here two plus one three going uphill against a seven now i think all units have to attack up the hill non hill six nine well See, this is this is one of these weird slope things. Uh, it's not a full like surrounded hill. It's not a, a a plateau. But but the way I would interpret this normally, the slope effective. Normally, it's if every guy is attacking uphill up the slope. So I'm going to say it's not. Uh, he's not getting the benefit of the slope because there's a guy attacking, flanking him. So two, three, just against the base six. One, fails. All right, so they manage to shoot a guy. He rallies, and that's the end of French turn three. All right, the Austrian, do this card, the Landwehr Reserves, where they could return two dead Austrian units to play. Well, they don't have any dead Austrian units, so that's wasted. They can move three and attack with four. All right, they decided to sort of fall back. They succeeded in their fighting here, not to push it too far. So the Grenadier moved back to this woods. This guy here decided to come back in here. So, so they're forming a solid line there. And then this guy over here moved up to, to, to sort of defend at the bridge so they couldn't come streaming around this way. All right, uh, so within range, this guy and this guy. Well, defensive fire first. All right, caught myself. French, get defensive fire. Um, this guy here actually is going to take a pot shot at this. Because that's disordered, and an artillery can kill a disordered unit. So that'll be one for certain. Th adding three against a six. Six, you would have... Boom. All right. So there's now an Austrian dead, but... <laughs> Ooh, and that was that nice Dragoon guy. All right. Um, 
So the derivative is one of the three. Uh, so I'm going to declare that that's blocking because the town would block and you can't normally shoot. You can shoot uphill to a slope, but you can't shoot like across the slope. So I'm going to say that this guy can't shoot here. So he can attack by himself a one versus six. He rolled a three and misses. Now over here, we can shoot this guy here. Now, shooting range across the river, across the bridge, I'm going to say that there's no defense. I mean, it's it's right along the, the heck side, uh, the stream, I'm going to call it a river. Um, if you're close assaulting across the river, that makes sense to me. But if you're shooting at range across, I don't think there should be a defense benefit. So it's a two against a seven. Well, the two missed the battery. Okay, that was defensive fire. All right. Now the Austrians can do up to their four attacks. They did manage to lose a guy. Okay, he's moved, so he can't shoot. That is within range. This is within range. He's here. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, let's shoot here. Two plus one combined. Three versus a seven. Roll the four, seven, and that's enough. So he has to retreat. He can move up. Does he want to move up there? Uh, someone, well, because he can they get up the hill. The hill does not, you just have to stop after going up the hill. So someone could get in there and cut him off the street. No, he's not. He's going to keep the line. Keep the line. They drove that dude back. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there are two pop shot there. So uh, it's six plus one, seven, adding two. Do, 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 missed. All right. So that was Austrian game turn three. We're moving on to game turn four. All right. Core cohesion, six and six. All French units add plus one for all combined attacks during combat this turn. One. French limited unit may be returned to play next to any non deserted friendly unit and not in any zone of control. All right, so we brought back this artillery. Uh, there was a unit next to him, so he was at the place there. And we moved up these six guys two here, two here, two here. There's artillery. Um, <sighs> Uh, yeah, so six attacks. So that makes sense to use the guard here with him combined. Okay. Good plus one. Here, you shoot with this artillery. One, two, three, four. So it's in range. He is three, and one of these guys combined attack. So that'll be three plus one. Three plus one. And there's that extra plus one of the card. And then here, we can just attack with these guys. This, this artillery could shoot here, um, but... You might as well use these guys here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so we have six units that it can attack. There'll be three combined attacks. Um, let's start here first. The uh, the weaker attack, two plus one combined, three, adding an extra one, four. Four against six. Rolled a five, nine. It is greater Eliminated. All right, so the French are starting to take more losses. They will advance. Yeah, they'll go ahead and advance. Or will they? Well, let's see. The the Austrian, depending on what happens here, the Austrians might fall back, be a little further forward. Yeah, he's on the road anyway. How far? Remember one. Yeah, there's no way they're going to fall back. Anyway. Uh, we're not going to advance. Well, no, we're going to advance. <laughs> Coming and hung. All right. So here, against this grenadier in the woods, the woods give you a plus one defense. All right. Uh, as we said, we're shooting with the artillery, supporting with one of these guys. So three, four, 
five against the net eight. <laughs> totally missed. All right. Uh, so here, three plus one for support, four plus the card, five against, there in the town, eight. Five, plus five against an eight. Miss. Oh, well. Wow. All right. So that was the French turn. Uh, but you know what? <laughs> I forgot defensive fire. Ah. Um... How can I make myself remember? So <laughs> we will keep those results to the extent that we can. Uh, was it this guy? No, that guy, it's the guy that died from being disordered. He would have defensive fired against this guy. I think two, two, he missed. All right, so this guy gets killed. Well, uh, we don't know the figure. What, what what makes most sense? One of these guys would shoot at one of these. One of these guys would shoot at one of these. So now that yeah, that that, that makes more sense that they're gonna they shoot at each each one getting getting attacked. So this guy would shoot at say this one here. He missed the one. This guy here would shoot at here. Missed. He rolled the two. That's over four. All right. So. Got to remember defensive fire. Got to remember it. Uh, boy, probably it was sort of like down here out of the sight of my camera. So I think I need to leave it here on the map. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it this way as a reminder and then turn it away. No, do it this way. I don't know. Just got to remember defensive fire. All right. So that was the French turn at the end rally. All right. So. Austrian turn four. We'll be back. So, Austrian turn four. This card, Charles rallies the troops. Well, there were no Austrian units that were disordered. This is nice that you can rally the guys at the very beginning of your turn, even if they're in a zone of control. Normally, can we rally if you're not in a zone of control? But, eh. the number, so five and four. They did decide to pull back here. They moved the artillery that was here over to here, move the grenadier there, and this grenadier moved to there. And then over here on this flank, this guy moved along the road here, occupying this town in front of the bridge. So basically they're trying to screen and prevent flanking maneuver here. Um, defensive fire. So the French get to do some shooting. Um, so nothing in range of the artillery here. Uh, this guy is within range here. And this guy is in range here. So we will shoot here. Uh, four plus two, six against seven, misses. Uh, so here, this is a grenadier on the hill, eight. So if he rolls a six, he does succeed in disordering him and retreating him. He rolls a four and misses. All right. So that's it for the defensive fire. We remembered at least. <laughs> uh, so that's the end of the Austrian turn. We're going to the French turn five. Faltering advance. No artillery units may attack during combat this turn. Well, they weren't within range anyway. It doesn't matter. But only one unit can move. Two can attack. So the French decide to move this guy that was over here to react to this and go up and engage him there. Um, <laughs> whoop de ding de doo um, <sighs> Defensive fire of the Austrians. All righty, they got three shots. Um, might as well have the Grenadier shoot back at this guy in a much more advantageous position because this guy's out in the open, but it missed two, three plus two is five. Miss. All right. Um, look, 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 look. Um, this guy here might as well stabby stabby. He's a lancer unit with only one range. Adding one, 
against a six. He rolls a five, six. He does succeed in disorganizing the guy. All right. And uh, so, blee, 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 blee. one, two, three, four. Artillery here could shoot at one of these guys. Or this guy could shoot here. Mm, I'm gonna shoot here. He's gonna. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, he rolled a six. Six plus two is eight. Actually kills this guy. All right. That was the defensive fire. The Austrians. The French can now shoot with up to two shots, but they're no longer in range here. This guy here rolling for a six. He fails. And that's it. So that was the end of French turn five. Austrian turn five. Austrian turn five. Cavalry reserve. Add plus one to all Austrian cavalry that's during this turn. Four and four. Okay, so this cavalry unit came from back here. This line unit came from here. The grenadier decided to come back for it. So they've moved back to re engage. And then this artillery shifted over here. And she's going to try, to try to get over here onto the hill. Um, so. Plus one to the cavalry attack. So he is attacking. He will be supporting. So three, four, five. Adding five against a six in the open. Blown away big time. <laughs> Crunchy, dude. All right. He's not going to advance. He could. He, because he's no longer his own. Uh, oh, up, ah, up, ah, he's up. Ah. What did I forget? Defensive fire. All right. So obviously this guy's going to shoot defensive fire if I get this cavalry that's charging at him. He misses. <laughs> um, this artillery will take a blast at that guy. Six. So which would normally be enough to kill him outright. It's not enough. Well, it's artillery at range. So he... Retreats. All right. So uh, now, if you remember, I rolled a six. <laughs> so that result still would have killed the guy. That guy alone uh, will kill that guy. But uh, one more shot for the French. Mm, they would probably shoot against this guy here. Uh, he's weaker. He's uh, six plus one while he's seven plus one. So the guard would shoot. Three against a seven. You, you roll. Wow. <laughs> so the 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 result. Because remember, defensive fire. Very important. To remember. Instead of this guy dying, <laughs> one guy was killed and one the the cavalry was retreated. Um. Alrighty then. So the instead of this attack. This guy can still shoot here. Uh, succeeds in disordering and retreating him. This guy can shoot at him. Miss. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, he cannot shoot there. He's not on a hill here. Can't shoot over that. He could shoot here. That tower would block uh, anybody else. He could shoot there. Uh, I'll shoot the guard. I'll shoot the guard. So on a five or six, they'll hit. Four, miss. Okay, so that was defensive fire. And then Austrian fire. So Austrian's done on their turn five. And I'm showing these. I've been remembering to do these. Things that got disordered in the defensive fire process are available to you. So this will be now turn six for the French. All right, so turn six for the French, general advance. Three French infantry units may move one extra X each. Uh, so seven units to move five to attack. Uh, so they moved here. This guy was didn't have to move the extra. Uh, this guy did. Uh, I think this 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 guy here from back there, this guy was close. 
So they only needed to move two guys extra, but they're basically surrounding these grenadiers in the forest. Here, this guy's pushing up here, and then a cavalry moved over here to attack there. And I think one of these guys moved up to there. To sort of like <laughs> a little bit of line in the middle there. So five units attack. But defensive fire first. Do not forget defensive fire. So obviously over here, this they don't want the the grenadiers to be surrounded and killed. So this is going to be the target of blasting away. So this guy here is going to shoot first because this guy could then have a chance to shoot. If he shot first, succeeded, then this guy won't have anything to shoot. So this guy is going to blast here. So adding two against a six, you rolled a three and missed. This guy only has a one. This is militia. This is this is one strength. I'm gonna uh, zoom in there so you can see that. They have some little militia units with one strength and only a one range, one range infantry. <laughs> so back out to our normal position. Uh, so he's going to shoot now, since the guy in the hill missed, adding two against a six. He got enough. All right, so he's cleared his flank. <laughs> uh, the actual problem, yeah, no, he no, he can retreat one, two to here. He's got uh, enough space. Um, yeah, they probably, so yeah, this guy's going to want to shoot at one of these guys. Uh, probably. This one, because if he disordered and comes out this way, he'll be in range of artillery still that can take a pop shot. Where this guy here would retreat to here, it would not be in range of artillery. Well, actually, he'd be in range of that one. No, not sure. Anyway, this one. Adding three against a six. Just enough. All right, so that was defensive fire. Now the French can get up to five attacks. Well, let's start over here first against the town. Seven defense, adding three. Boom. It's enough to kill the little light lancers. And the, what is that uh, heavy cav? They didn't say the type. Crosses, I would guess, maybe. So that was one of the five attacks for the French. <laughs> well, the guard is going to attack here. Three. Well, let's see. It's the only one he's within range of, but he he can't shoot at range. He can only attack here, so it doesn't help. I need to get everything up. More artillery, more get it in there. Um, yeah, so it doesn't matter. So he he will, uh, yeah, attack and have him support. So four against an eight. Nine is enough to disorder and retreat, and that guy will occupy that. That's one reason to use this guy instead of supporting with him. Uh, I think it's, well, no, I don't know. Um, either one could have advanced. Uh, so here, just this guy will get to shoot two against six, five misses. All right, that was French turn six. This is Austrian turn six. They draw Deutsch Wagram. Austrian units in two hexes of Wagram, get to add plus one to all attacks during the combat, and one Austrian unit is returned to play. There, I haven't actually done that yet. They're going to bring back that Dragoon unit. Um, they're going to bring it into play next to unit here. So, what they did, five units. Uh, This infantry went one, two, three. This infantry that was here went one, two, three. This one just came out. So they're 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 within two X's of either hex of Vagram. Uh let's see, does he if he they all have to retreat? 
want to leave enough room to retreat in there. So maybe Aaron will put him in there. <laughs> um, the, the Grenadier, which was here, is coming out to occupy this. So they're going to try to kill this guy here. Uh, la, 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 one, two, three, four. Mm, don't remember. I moved something else. Don't remember what it is. Um, so, five attacks. But first, defensive fire. So, obviously, they want to try to drive this guy back. Uh, <laughs> or both of those guys. That's a tough call. Um, drive him back. He won't be in his zone and he could retreat. Also, potentially, they could take a pot shot at this guy. And if they can get lucky and hit him again, they could kill him because he's a sworder. So, but this has to be the priority. So, obviously, the guard's going to engage the grenadier. Three against a seven. Missed. Roll to three. Net to six. Well, this guy himself is going to shoot here. He's trying to desperately save his turn and shooting. He rolled the six. Coming in eight. Not enough to kill it, but the guard retreats. I guess he's going to retreat back up onto the hill. All right, so one more defensive fire. So they might as well, do we engage here or do we try to get lucky and kill a grenadier? I think gonna try. So these dragoons are shooting from here, pew, 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 hoping for rolling a five or six. They roll a six, adding to eight, boom, enough to hit and kill the grenadier. All right, that was defensive fire. Now the Austrians can do their attack with plus one for those guys within two. So that would include this artillery, this artillery, this guy, this guy, this guy. Those guys are all in range of somebody. They only got five attacks, though, so got to decide how to do this. Well, blah, 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 blah. If, if they can hit this guy and retreat him, and he could advance, and they hit this guy and he retreats, he could advance, they could then surround it. Now, it's harder to do that in this game because you can't advance if you're in a zone of control. But if we totally peel these flanks in this right way, this, this will work. So, uh, one, two, 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 two. If he, if he participates, he'll add one. Uh, he, now, you can shoot across a marsh, of course. It's, he could be the primary attacker here. Along with this guy, this is guy three, so. Uh, trying to figure out the best way to do this. Because we only can use five units. Well, he, they're getting the extra plus, plus the plus, 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 plus. So one, two, three, four, and only one. Artillery can help. Four. Okay, and this is the town. Let's just start here. Three against six. No extra plus. Six succeeds. So this guy retreats. He will advance. All right. So this guy here, he's shooting, he's attacking. So two, three, four for the card. Four. Killed it outright. Killed it outright. He can't admit. Now this is kind of a gutsy move on his part. If he's here, 
he he's they've got a line. <laughs> this is a gutsy move. <sighs> One, two, three, four, four against a seven. Yeah, it's two thirds chance. They're gonna go for it. That was the plan. They're going for it. Rah, big massive attack. All right. So two plus support is three plus one for the card. Four against a net seven. Rolled a six. Killed it outright. My goodness. So the fact that they surrounded it didn't matter. But here, then he's going to advance. So he's still at risk. <laughs> but <laughs> the French <laughs> are a little, little, little weak here. All right. So that's the end of the auction. This guy gets to rally now. That's it. That's the end of turn six. We're moving on to game turn seven for the French. I think I'll be able to only do one or two more turns before I have to go to bed. Napoleon's presence. All French units may be rallied at the start. So the guy here is able to rally. We did it moving him anyway. Six French units can move, three can attack. So we moved over here. A guy up, this guy came around, we're flanking this guy. That's two units. Uh, this guy moved up, this guy moved up, this guy moved up, and this guy moved up. We only got three attacks. For a card called Napoleon's Presence, only getting three attacks is kind of wimpy. <laughs> so obviously this is going to be the big choice, but... Defensive fire. All righty. So um, we'll start with this guy shooting here. Trying to drive that flank attacker away. Roll the two and missed. This guy will shoot. Three and missed. This guy will shoot. Three and missed. <laughs> well, so <laughs> this will be the primary attacker with him supporting. So three, this is in the clear. Three, four against the six. Five would have killed it out right anyway. Boom. All right. Boom. Chicka boom. Boom. Chicka boom. Uh, this guy will advance. So it was two units over here. Oh, shoot. They're all three. Okay. So this guy's surrounding. He, he, we can just attack with the one. Three versus seven. Rolled a five. Net eight. Killed it. And he is going to sort of advance back. Because these Archduke John guys could come around there and sort of like, man. Eh, no. um, so that was French turn seven. I'm going to do Austrian turn and then I'm going to go bed and then we'll continue this. Tomorrow. But of course, it'll all be spliced together as one big blade through video. But uh, we get Charles orders an attack. Seven to move, six to attack. Four Austrian infantry units may move two additional hexes. And all uh, string artillery add plus one to attack this combat turn. All right, so what did we do? We sort of shifted the line. We got seven units that could move. This cavalry came out to flank here. This cavalry went to here. The infantry that was here, one shifted over to here. One shifted into the town here. Uh, the grenadier came out from here. One, two, three, four, using the extra one. One militia came here. And this guy sidestepped here. We need we need to pull down. We need to extend this flank here and make sure we protect the the top of the plateau. So I was tempted to like ah, charge into here, like to attack this cow or some some crazy like try to bust the center or something. But I no no no. no. So they are trying to kill this guy here. If they succeed, this guy could advance back this way and being kind of a nice little line here but 
Defensive fire. What happens? All right. So three shots before the Austrians get their attack with the artillery getting a plus. Um, well, obviously, you know, we're, we're trying to keep this guy alive. So let's start with this artillery blasting at that guy. Adding three, two, five. Misses. Uh, this is, he's going to have to save himself. No. So that's two shots. Like, this guy can't shoot here because he's in his zone. So best he can do is shoot there. So, uh, ha, 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 ha. <sighs> Do we try to... Well, if if he can retreat him, then he can get out. Oops. Knocking the whole line. So, yeah, he needs to take a pot shot at him. <clears throat> Rolled. <laughs> Three, net five, misses. Nope. So the defensive fire did not save anybody. All right. So up to six Austrian attacks with artillery getting plus one. So obviously this is our mm, 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 dude of choice. Um, now if we want to make sure the most, we would use the three and we could throw in an artillery <laughs> to support. So that would be three, four, and an extra one for the card five would be automatic. We want to guarantee it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Now, however, <laughs> I, think I, was, I was just about to say, this guy wouldn't be supporting attack. But if you read the combat procedure for advance after combat, let me find it. It does have to be an attack. <laughs> One of the, the games in this series worded it weirdly that it sounded like a unit that wasn't participating in that particular attack could advance, but it's an attacking unit. All right. So if we do it this way, if we use that artillery to guarantee the odds... Then he would advance. So, mm, 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 mm. why don't we do it this way? He attacks with him supporting two, plus one for the support three, plus one because he's artillery because of the card four. So, on a two or greater. So, only on a one will it fail. But then this guy can, and, and, and we can have the line, he's not at risk. Roll the two. It was enough. <laughs> Oh, the French guys. Now, right now, the Austrians have lost six, and the French have lost five. At the beginning, the, the French had lost two, and the Austrians none. This guy will advance. All right. So that was two units. So this guy can attack here with support from him. So three... Four plus another five. So this is actually pretty good. Adding five on a one or a two, the guy will retreat on a three or more. It'll kill him outright. So that's pretty good. Two thirds chance of a big kill. You roll the five, boom. Evaporating that line there. He's he can he can advance. He can advance safely here. All right, so that was one, two, three, four. We have two more potential attacks. Uh, well, the grenadier could try to, yeah. So again, we got an artillery over here. This grenadier plus this artillery. So one, two, three, four versus seven. All right. But we can still roll a five or six and kill it. All right. Roll the two. 
Missed completely. All right. That was the Austrian turn. And that was the end of turn seven. Turn eight, we will continue tomorrow. This has been uh, day one of the battle. This there, there, there was this was a two-day battle. So we are taking a nap. <laughs> going to go to bed. Going to bivouac for the night. And we will pick up the second day of Vagram tomorrow. See you then.